Welcome to Mrs. V's Reading Corner, where you can enjoy books for educational, fun, or even bedtime stories. Please take the time to like this video, comment below with how you enjoyed it, book suggestions, and more. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get all the new books that I post first. Animal Homes by Angela Wilkes. What is a home? Animals need homes for all of the same reasons that people do. Homes provide shelter and keep animals warm in the winter. They are a safe place to rest and to raise babies. Hard to find. Animals build their homes out of materials that match their surroundings. This makes it hard for predators to spot them. Predators are animals that hunt and eat other animals. Safe place for babies. Homes such as this bird's nest are only built to raise babies. A nest is warm, cozy, and away from danger. This is where a mother bird lays her eggs and raise her young. Different homes. Animals build many types of homes. Some build nests while others make dens or dig burrows. Living in a pond. Many different animals live in the still, fresh water of a pond. Here they can find good hiding places and many things to eat. Finding a mate. Newts live in ponds in the spring. They look for a mate and then lay their eggs in the water. Blowing bubbles. The water spider spins a web between water plants. Staying damp. Amphibians such as frogs and toads live in damp, shady places. They need to keep their skin moist and slimy. Some build their homes in unusual spots. Living in a hole. When it rains, the water holding frog skin soaks up water. The slime on its skin sets to make a cocoon that keeps in the water. The frog then burrows into the sand to escape from the desert heat. Amphibian are animals that is born in water but lives on land. Treetop homes. Strawberry poison dart frogs live in steamy rainforests. They hide from the hot sun in pools of rainwater that collect in between huge plants. Burrowing toads. Shape foot toads dig burrows and spend most of their time there. But when it rains, they go above ground to find mates. Cocoon is wrapping that protects an animal. Mobile homes. Some animals live in a shell that they carry on their backs. The hard shell shields the animal's soft body from knocks and bumps and shelters it from the wind and rain. It also protects it from hungry predators that are looking for food. Suit of Armor A tortoise has a tough shell shaped like a dome. If the tortoise is in danger, it pulls its head and legs back into its shell. Shield To protect and take care of A home that grows as a snail grows, its shell grows too. So the shell is always just the right size. Snails slip back inside their shells to hide from danger. Burrowed home. A hermit crab has no heart shell of its own, so it finds an empty mollusk shell and moves in. When it grows, 
The hermit crab moves to a bigger shell. Mollusk, an animal with a soft body and a hard shell. Spinning webs. Most spiders spin webs in order to catch insects. They build them using silk threads from their own bodies. But some spiders live in other types of homes, such as holes or burrows. Cobweb trap. The orb spider spins a beautiful sticky web between the stems of plants. The spider waits for insects in the center of the web or hides under a nearby leaf. Prey. An animal that is hunted and killed by another animal. Under a rock. Some spiders make nests in hollow spaces under rocks. They line the nest with thick silk and lay their eggs. Then they wait to pounce on passing insects. Surprise attack. The trapdoor spider digs a tunnel and lines it with silk. Then it makes a lid on top like a trapdoor. The spider hides in the tunnel and darts out to catch prey. Where birds live. Birds build nests so that they have a warm, safe place to lay their eggs and raise their chicks. Most birds' nests are in trees, but some are on steep cliffs or even on the ground. Hanging nest. The pinulin tit hangs its purse shaped nest from a twig. It is lined with soft wool and fluff from reeds or catkins to make a cozy home for the female and babies. Catkin is a spike of small soft flower on a tree. Fancy work. A male cape weaver bird weaves a complicated oval nest using grass and reeds. The only entrance is through a short tunnel at the bottom. This helps protect it from predators. Hungry chicks. Chicks hatch in their nest. They are helpless and cannot leave. They open their beaks wide to beg for food. Cell homes. Wasps and bees build amazing nests that are made up of many tiny cells. Young wasps and bees can grow up safely in these little compartments. Laying eggs. A queen wasp lays one egg in each cell. Each egg will become a wasp larva. Older wasps take care of the eggs and larva. Paper home. A wasp nest is made of layers of paper wrapped around the larva cells. The wasps make paper by chewing up wood and mixing it with their saliva. Lava is a young insect that has just come out of its egg. Moving around. Bees live and work together. When bees need a new home, they fly away in a huge group called a swarm. Honeycomb bees. Bees' nests are called hives. Inside a hive are wax honeycombs made up of many cells. The cells hold honey or baby bees. Lava, more than one lava. Living in a colony. Most ants and termites live in huge groups called colonies. They work together to build enormous nests where they can raise their young. Food for the colony. Leaf cutter ants live in rainforests. They bite off pieces of leaves and carry them back to their nest. They store the leaves in special gardens where a fungus grows on them making a tasty food for ants. Fungus is a plant such as mushrooms that grow on other plants. Leafy nest. All of the weaver ants work together to make their home, even the larva.
The yum make a special sticky thread that the ants use to stick leaves together. The finished nest looks like a big leafy ball. Mud castle. Termites build a giant dirt mound above their nest to keep it cool. Inside are nursing galleries for the young, as well as spaces for the queen and food supplies. Galleries are long rooms or passages. Many homes. Mice live in many different places. Some live in fields and some live in forests. Others even live in people's houses. But all mice build nests to rest in and to raise their babies. Close to people. House mice make their nests using shredded paper, old rags, or grass. They always build their nests in a small hiding place that is out of sight. Shredded. Torn into strips. Grassy homes. The tiny harvest mouse lives in tall grass. It weaves its strip of grass around plant stems in order to make a cozy round nest. Sleeping mouse. In the fall, the dormouse makes a cozy nest using shredded bark. Then it curls up into a ball and goes to sleep for the long cold winter. Bark is the outer layer of a tree's trunk or branches. Under the ground, marmots live high up in the mountains. When the first winter snows fall, the whole family moves into a big burrow lined with grass and goes to sleep. Fast asleep. Marmots block the entrance to their burrows with rocks and soil to keep predators from getting in. Then they snuggle together to stay warm and hibernate until the spring returns. Hibernate is to spend the whole winter in a deep sleep. Where dogs live. Foxes and dingoes are wild dogs. They build their homes by digging dens in soft dirt or by taking over and enlarging the home of other animals. Dens provide shelter from the hot sun or cold weather and are a safe place to raise pups. Desert homes. Kit foxes live in stony deserts in North America. They sleep in their dens during the day when it is most hot. At night when it is cooler, they go out hunting. Den is a shelter place where an animal lives. Ready-made den. Dingoes live in Australia. When a mother dingo is about to have pups, she moves into a safe den. This is often a big hole underneath tree roots or some rocks. Enlarging, making bigger. Living in the snow. Polar bears live in the snowy Arctic. When they are tired, they dig a shallow pit in the snow and sleep in it. In the fall, a pregnant polar bear digs a den in a snowdrift. This is where she will spend the long, dark winter. Snow babies. The mother bear stays in the den until the spring. In the early winter, she gives birth to one or two cubs. She feeds them her milk, and they all sleep for most of the winter. Pregnant. Going to have a baby. Leaving the den. In the spring, the polar bear and her young come out of the den. The mother is very hungry since she has not eaten all winter long. She takes her cubs onto the sea ice where she can hunt for food. Sea ice is ice that forms on the surface of the sea when it freezes. Going batty. Bats hunt for food at night and rest during the day. They do not make special homes 
but instead roosts in trees, caves, barns, and even attics. Leafy shelter. Fruit bats live in huge groups called colonies and roost in tall trees during the day. They hang upside down from branches, clinging on tightly with claws on their feet. Then they wrap their skinny wings around themselves for protection. Roost to settle down to sleep. Dark caves. Many bats sleep in large caves. Thousands of them roost upside down, packed closely together. At night, the bats set out to feed. Some bats eat insects. Others, like these fruit bats, eat fruit and the nectar from flowers. Riverside homes. Many animals live on the banks of rivers and streams. There they are close to fresh water and there are enough plants, small creatures, and fish to eat. They are also safely out of reach of most predators. Water babies. Adult dragonflies live beside rivers. The larvae live in the water. When the larvae are ready to become adults, they climb up on plant's stem. Their skin splits open along their backs and the adult dragonflies climb out. Rest burrows. Platypuses live close to lakes and rivers. A mother platypus digs a long nesting burrow in the bank's soft dirt. There she lays her eggs and raises her babies. Nest tunnel. Kingfishers dig tunnels in a soft riverbank. At the end of the tunnel, the female kingfisher makes a small chamber and lays her eggs. When the chicks hatch, she brings them fish to eat. Chamber is a room. Living in a lodge. Beavers are smart builders. They construct dams across streams in order to make ponds. Then they build homes called lodges in the middle of these ponds, safe from enemies. The beavers line the lodge with dry grasses to keep it snug and warm. All of the entrances are underwater, safe from predators. Timber! Using their sharp front teeth, beaver can cut down trees. They gnaw around the bottom of a tree until it falls down. Then they chew pieces off to make small logs, saving food for later. Beavers only eat plants. They store some food at the bottom of the pond so they can eat all winter long. Going camping. Big apes such as chimpanzees, orangutans, and gorillas do not have one home. Instead, they move from place to place. At night, they make leafy nests and camp out. Climbing trees. Chimpanzees make tree nests at nighttime. They bend leafy branches to make comfortable beds where they can sleep. Ape is an animal that looks like a monkey without a tail. Leafy nests. Orangutans build two tree nests each day. They build a small nest for a nap. At night, they build platforms in the forks of trees. Heavy sleepers. Female gorillas nest in trees. Male gorillas build nests on the ground since they are too heavy to sleep in trees. Living with people. Towns and cities provide shelter, food, and warmth. As these places have gotten bigger, more animals have moved into them. 
Animals often settle into new homes in the most surprising places. Cardboard bed. In North America, raccoons have moved to town gardens and even into city centers. They live in attics and sheds. Raccoons eat almost anything and even help themselves to food from garbage cans. Platform is a flat surface. Living the high life, the peregrine falcon usually lives on cliff or rock faces. In cities, it roasts on churches, tall buildings, and even on radio antennas. Chimney homes. For hundreds of years, the white stork have nests close to people. It builds its huge nest on top of chimneys and houses. Some people build special platforms for stokes to nest on. The end. Stay tuned to be able to pause and participate in a few activities. Things to make and do. Looking at homes. Watching animals. Building homes. And... Hamster playpen. Bye.